Happy President's Day. We are going to look at sentence 95, which is on page 106 in your book. And the sentence is, it was he in the boat, but I did not see him. So let's start with the parts of speech. We have pronoun, verb, pronoun, preposition, adjective, noun, conjunction, pronoun, verb, adverb, verb, and pronoun. So one more time, make any corrections that you need to. We have pronoun, verb, pronoun, preposition, adjective, noun, conjunction, pronoun, verb, adverb, verb, and pronoun. Now let's look at the parts of speech or maybe the sentence. Um, so our subject is it, okay, was, the verb is a linking verb, and let's look to see if we have a subject complement. It was what? It equals what? He. So he is our subject complement. Okay? And then over here, the pronoun I is also a subject. Okay? Now this phrase right here, did not see, works together for one action verb. Okay? So I did not see what? Him. That's our direct object. And as you can see, there aren't any extra words in between, so we don't have an indirect object. We have one prepositional phrase in the boat. Okay. It was he in the boat is an independent clause. Okay. I did not see him is a second independent clause. Two independent clauses makes for a compound sentence. Our punctuation is a period, and this is giving us information, so this is a declarative sentence. Now let's take a moment to look at a couple of things. Notice the pronoun he has to be a subject pronoun because it is the subject complement. If this read, it was him, that would be a big grammatical error, okay? Just like over here, this has to be him because it's the direct object. So it has to be an object pronoun, okay? You can't say, I did see he, okay? Let's also look at something. This is a little curious here. We have this phrase right here, did not see. And as I said, this is one verb phrase, okay? Did is assisting the verb see, did see. Then in between it, we have the word not. Not is describing the action verb did see and telling us how did he see? He did not see, okay? So therefore, it's an adverb. 